husband of the next generation. Mō reira kia koutou katoa, tēnā tātou. Lewis Award. Uh, ko te rōpū rangatahi o ngā maunga, e tūmai rā ki te whenua e, tonga re ronga rohoi me rua pehu e, tauhara me pihanga arohai nā e, ko taupo nui ati a te kopu a kanapa, i te rohe a te heo heo te matua. I te ariki uh, tumu. Uh, I ngā mana, i ngā reo rauranga tirama, uh, ngā whanaunga o ngā titu whare tō. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Uh, I stand as a proud uri of ngā titu whare tō. And today is our day. And t- today is a day where we actually recognise and celebrate all those who have brought us to this point in time. I'd like to begin by acknowledging uh, that our Reki Manu Nui Te Hio Hio Tukino the Second didn't sign the Treaty of Waitangi. He refused to. Uh, he refused to bow down uh, to another sovereign power, actually. Uh, that was irrelevant to the Crown. The Crown treated our iwi and our hapu who signed the treaty or didn't sign the treaty the same. The agenda from the Crown's perspective was the same. And um, it's been interesting reading through our treaty settlement. Um, and I will reference um, some historical uh, contributions that I, I found quite um, interesting. But I do want to start with the eight summary of historic account, and I will read it. Before 1860, Ngāti Tūwharetō actively opposed Crown purchase negotiations for the land in the Rohe. Following the invasion of Crown forces in the Waikato in 1863, Ngāti Tūwharetō were drawn into the fighting because of their whakapapa connections and allegiance to the Kingitanga. The war marked the beginning of widespread disruption to the social, political and economic structures of Ngāti Tūwharetō life, a number of Ngāti Tūwharetō people lost their lives in these battles. We actually lost whakapapa. We lost whakapapa. We lost our tūpuna. We lost our whenua. Uh, in some ways, we, it could have led to the loss of our identity, but the reality is that we were too strong, and we are strong, and we remain strong. But what it does highlight uh, is the lost opportunity for our tribe. It's that opportunity cost, actually, uh, why we were here, here today. It is the, um, the opportunity that we lost to develop our lands, to develop our forests, to actually be an economic powerhouse in this country. Uh, but through always uh, the good grace, uh, a sense of truth and reconciliation that we as hapu and iwi can move forward I'd like to highlight also um, on page 13 of our Treaty Settlement 4, and you'll see why later, but from the 1890s, trout and other exotic fish were introduced into Lake Taupo and the waterways of Tongariro, which significantly depleted indigenous freshwater fish species and forced Ngāti Tūwharetō to rely on introduced fish species for food, hospitality, trade and koha. In 1926, the Crown acquired the beds of Lake Taupo and its tributaries, which it held for 66 years before they were returned to Ngāti Tūwharetō in 1992. Uh, On that same page, seven, and I really want to highlight this, economic marginalisation, unemployment and underdevelopment have contributed to the excessive outward migration of Ngāti Tūwharetō people as they have left their rohe in search of opportunities elsewhere. I've got two brothers who live in Perth. I'm sure, like me, they would like to live at home. Why did they go away? They went away uh, because of the lost opportunity for us to develop our own economic uh, base. And in highlighting that, I actually want to highlight and acknowledge our ahika, our whanau who have stayed at home, who have kept our home fires burning. For me, it's my baby sister, Janice Wall, uh, in Waitahanui, and it's also my cousins, Ngā, Ngā Turu and Ngā Hire, uh, who, like me, uh, will continue to um, 
contribute to our identity, our collective identity, as we move into the future. I'd like to acknowledge the definition and meaning of Ngāti Tūwhare Tōa, because it's about our uh, affiliation to the following hapu. Ngāti Hā, Ngāti Hikairo, Ngāti Hine, Ngāti Hine Mihi, Ngāti Hine Rau, Ngāti Hine Ure, Ngāti Kau uh, Rauia, Ngāti Manunui, Ngāti Moikino, Ngāti Parekawa, Ngāti Rauhoto, Ngāti Rongomai, Ngāti Ruingarangi, Ngāti uh, Tarakaiahi, Ngāti Te Koro Te Kohira, Ngāti Te Maunga, Ngāti Te Rangiita, Ngāti Te Urunga, Ngāti Turanga tu, Turangi Tukua, Ngāti Turumakina, Ngāti Tūte Mohuta, Ngāti Tūte Te Whā, Ngāti Waiwai, Ngāti Wairangi, Ngāti Whero, Te Kapa o Te Rangiita. It was quite interesting. I'm, I'm quite obsessive about why claims because I like looking at who the claimants were and when we started this journey. Uh, obviously, in 1975, the Waitangi Tribunal was created. Uh, but the first cla why claim that's listed uh, in our deed of settlement is Y18, Lake Topal claim. And it was really interesting doing some research because I've found a, uh, a report dated the 5th of October 1986. Uh, signed by ETJ Jury, who was the chair of the Waitangi Tribunal, and Y18 was actually a claim by HT Karaitiana relating to Lake Taupo fishing rights. And Mr Karaitiana, who lived at Waitahanui Taupo, uh, sought the intervention of the Waitangi Tribunal on the proposed law changes in regards to the taking of freshwater whitebait, or inanga, by the Tuwharetō Māoris from Lake Taupo. Uh, the interpretation of his letter uh, was about a reference to the Lake Topal Fishing Regulations of 1984, assented to on the 17th of December 1984, to regularise certain uh, earlier regulations held invalid by the District Court in dismissing charges against D. Taho and others for spearing trout. <laughs> and uh, what I found really interesting in reading through this uh, is that it referenced in 1975 in Wall, not sure if that was my Uncle Nick, a uh, Māori was charged with taking smelt from Lake Taupo. It was held in the district court that he was entitled to take smelt, apparently, on the basis that smelt was indigenous to New Zealand, even although it may not be indigenous to Lake Taupo. That decision was upheld in the Supreme Court in May 1976. Uh, the Māori Purposes Act of 1981 then rewrote the 1926 Act to provide that indigenous fish meant indigenous to the lake, and the Taupo Fishing Regulations of 1983 then provided that only two Whareto Māori can take kauda or other fish indigenous to the lake. I presume that was the Morehana. Uh, um, it's been, you know, when you, when you think about days like today, for me, I remember uh, my uncle, um, my uncle Nick, my uncle Darkey, uh, all of our whanau, my father, uh, who have fought so hard, and all of our hapu have uh, our champions, uh, our uh, rangatira, who have fought for us to be here today. And today is one where we remember um, the legacy and the pathway that they've created for us. And so I'm incredibly grateful. I'm incredibly grateful to be proud to be uh, Ngāti Tūtu Mohuta, Ngāti Tūwhare Tōa. I know who I am. I know where I come from. And because of that identity, I can do anything. And so um, in the words of uh, Whanaunga, uh, Moana Maniapoto, I want to sing us a waiata. Uh, that's one of her waiata. And if you know it, please join me. We are warriors, warriors, the Māori nation. Across the wide, wide creation, we won't kneel down, we won't 
Kneel down upon the ground, upon the ground. Oh, how I love to hear them say my Maori name. Ko te iwi Maori. Tato konga taonga piripono ana tupuna. Me te aroha, me te aroha, me te mana, me te mana, me te tino ranga tira tanga e. Kia ora tātou. Before I put the question, I, uh, I just want to personally acknowledge in the gallery um, former neighbours, um, friends, uh, I was going to say people who I taught, people who were in my class. I'm not sure that I taught them much. <laughs> um, and especially uh, Te Riki Tumu, uh, I want to acknowledge uh, your father, your um, brother Timmy, uh, sister Gurley, uh, and particularly yourself for the many years of kind, gentle, and wise advice that you have bestowed on me personally. Thank you. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those who are of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Ngāti Tūwharitoa Claim Settlement Bill, first reading. The question is that the Ngāti Tūwharitoa Claim Settlement Bill be considered by the Māori Affairs Committee. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. I understand we are to be treated. Waita. Call on Government Order of the Day number seven. Iwi and Hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairoa Claim Settlement Bill, second reading. The Honourable Andrew Little. Mr Speaker, I move that the Iwi and Hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairoa Claims Settlement